Hello everyone and welcome back to our mega city. Now, nope, I did not forget to turn on the sun or there was not a big catastrophe where the sun is gone. We're rather looking at our city right now during night time and yeah, as you can see, it is rather dark, isn't it? So what we will want to change now is bringing some light to our mega city. Some of you already wished that for quite some time and of course, you're completely right. This is way too dark there. Um, very nice effect here with the dock lenses. We can see that have some lighted roofs up there. I did not see that before. No idea what it is. Uh, seems to be quite the exhibition in there, perhaps. And yeah, as we can see, really, the streets are way too dark. If someone gets attacked on these streets, no one will ever find out. We cannot allow that, really. I just love also uh, how at night time there's a reduced population on the streets, right? So the streets are rather empty or emptier than during daytime. That is just a really nice detail and it's working so flawlessly um, that I'm really just baffled at how many details this game still has. But let's get cracking with this. So the first thing I would like to do is let's put it back to let's put it back to dawn for now and we start here with the dock plan. So I already have some ornaments here right and we do not have any city lights at the moment so i would like to add them now to this area so first of all here beside the docklands we can have some lights on both sides i guess here in this case not i totally forgot there is actually these beaches there right so those beaches are nasty um there we have the tracks actually this is a good starting point starting here with the tracks and there we can have then our city lights and since we have a five layered road, the main roads, we can actually conveniently place these city lights in the center of it. Um, and yeah, we can then also use the remaining space with probably, hmm, probably some ornaments, some trees and stuff like that. It's only a question of how we want to place them with three um, tiles in between. I think this is the better option, right? So with that, we would just be pushing up there now like so. so always just some three tiles. And by the way, I think we could actually... Now we can't copy that anymore. Since we already have the tiles on it, it would be blocked by it then. Okay, so at least the inner main street is now fully plastered with holes. And now we can go ahead and add the new um, city lights DLC to that. Or the city, um, the city lights in general, right? So not the city lights DLC, but rather just the city lights. And we do take the city light here. We do also have the public timepiece and the steel clock house. Both of them offer, I think, some lighting, but it's not enough. And I really would like to have some proper lamps there. And then we're just going ahead here and planting them now everywhere here. Can we cover the costs? I think we can. And then also on that side here, perfect. So the inner side is already plastered now. And then we're going down the main road here as well. There you go. And then also the docklands here or actually the harbor area where we definitely will need some lighting as well. So this is like the main road now. We can still think about something in between if we want to. Then we basically have two double uh, roads going through all of that. That's totally fine. But let's just have a look how it looks during nighttime. And as we can see, the boulevards uh, are now illuminated at least to some extent, which should be the case here. Of course, I don't want to stop here. What we are also doing is we are going to add some more spotlights to the the big buildings, right? So like this uh, huge bank that we have. So probably just over there. And this should also look pretty cool during night time. As we can see, as for example, the bank is also being illuminated now. So we can add this one to a lot of big buildings there as well to further add some light perhaps also to the docklands there which is not illuminated yet and i guess we do want to have that i mean it's always a tricky part of where we actually want to place it i think we can place it here a revolt left your city in ruins and of course also the world fair needs to be illuminated so we're going to have two spots on that side and then most likely also, since we have three layers here of road, I can also have them on that side. So let's just see that we have them actually on the on the same row there. So they are both going into this area there. Perfect. And then we can have these lights here as well. 
illuminating our world fair. On two sides here and on that side there. Not worth the time. Pretty important, of course, our iron tower. Now, there was just some room here with the trees. It's a bit further away, so it's not completely illuminating the area then, right? But the um, iron tower itself has some light there as well. And as we can see, it's still shining upon that just nicely. The same thing happens over here now with the Palace of Justice. At least the front, I would like to have a bit more shined upon. And this spotlight here that was in the where we just had to remove a tree is working for that just nicely too. So these will definitely add a bit more to the skyline here. The skyline tower itself, by the way, is perfectly illuminated. I don't think that I'm going to need any spotlights for this one. And then we continue with the illumination. Also, this main road down here to the tourist mooring that doesn't have any light yet. I think though it has these lampposts there. That's fine. That's adding a bit, but not really that much. And then I can just go ahead here with my additional ones left and right. And then, of course, once again, up the avenue here. Next up, we go all the way up here to the Scholars and to my University or Campus District. This one is not yet spotlighted. On this side here, we do have the space for it. On that side, we don't. So we might get rid of, let's just say, this flower bed there and this flower bed there. And by the way, this one and this one too, because they need to be their own flower beds like this, right? And if I remove it, then it doesn't adjust itself, unfortunately. So I will just have to place one here so that it's a small flower bed on its own. Ah, and I guess this one here I also need to copy once more so that it also ends here then, right? So this makes a bit more sense then. And then let's just have our spotlights for that. This one and this one going towards the university. We don't even see these spotlights there in the flower beds. That's really cool. I mean, not up close anyway. And then on that side here too, we do have the space here in the on the green area, right? So here and here. We might still want to have then some... I guess even flower beds here would be totally fine too. Leading up to the streets then there as well. And then also here along our main roads then more or less going into the mountain area there. At least it's a bit blocked off then. right? And I think ah, there's no path next to the flower beds, which is fine. Perfect. So that's that. It should look nice during nighttime now as our university is being spotted on. Perfect. It's just to see if there's any villains attacking. And then, of course, we continue onwards with our city lights. That is always very hard for me to find. There it is. Your people are starting to get sick. My people are always sick. Now, also very important, these uh, tracks here. So there we have, of course, the whole road that is looking really, really dark during nighttime. And I want to change that too. The good thing here is we don't need to get rid of any well, roads. We do have these trees here, right? And we just need to place them really a bit apart from each other, these lights then. And that should be golden. So I'm just going to get rid of a lot of trees now. But this should, of course, not, um, well, change anything about our status of a, an exquisite metropolis. At least I hope so. There's also those trains having a race right now, as it seems. But of course, nope, they are just using the tracks the most optimal way to just go behind each other. After done that, we can finally place all these lights here. It's not always symmetrical because I need to look out for the corners there where I definitely want to have some city lights as well. So here in that case, it should still be fine, right? We have two, two, perfect. But here we have three, for example. Otherwise, I will not be able to squeeze in the city light at the corner anymore. Um, there we have it then. And then basically, can I do it like that? Yes, actually, we can just go the whole row up there and then the whole row down there as well. Like so. Should look so bad during nighttime, hopefully. As also the trees are now illuminated. Really nice looking. And you definitely feel safer on these roads now.
and look at that how nice this effect is looking when another avenue is being also let there be lighted and also this whole row is now full perfect so basically the whole inner center of the city is now illuminated and also here are some tracks as well look at that that's really cool from up above especially since the the trees are being illuminated there as well quite a lot and this has a nice effect even from afar so this is a track without it and this is a track with it that's looking really cool actually i like that did not expect this amount of light coming out of it um so yeah why not let's just add some more here to the corners of the street there and perhaps one here in the middle on that side and then probably here once more right and then once again on both sides of these tracks here and also in the center of it And then once more, these city lights. We can just really draw them along the, the tracks there and also on that side. That's a lot of small detail work here, but I think it has a really nice effect when done. There's now the light coming. That's so cool. And boom, over here. Perfect. There you go. And also this area now has some lighting. There's still something here. Uh, this row still needs it too. There you go. So that's really transforming the city center there as well and also these lines it's working perfectly together with the Check trees copy. this i should definitely remember now while the lights are bringing joy to my people in crown falls let's go finally back to Enbesa, where i also started with the other district that we had up here um we can still place more buildings than down to the lower side here and i would so we do have kind of like a crossing here right so I would like to keep that and then we just have our blocks of houses then two probably not exactly the same so this one should be fine and then we can add some more we have lots of building materials really the only thing that i need to of course consider here is my consumption rates then so let's just have them here these guys then probably one more here there is the water source so if i want to have a fire station in the area i should uh, keep track of that then here um, and then we probably will have now our market place for that just here as well there's two marketplaces then and this one yeah let's make it only one row for now um, and then I would like to have my musicians court rather close perhaps or we actually this time let's squeeze it in here I think this is working out fine like so with only two entrances right and here we're just going to have some ornaments then that it's not always looking the same and this is fitting just perfectly into this area let's have our streets by the way i have so much mud bricks i could really get started with my paving of tabrim there as well would be a shame if not to and we can also yep make this bridge finally a stone bridge after all there's a lot of people now going over that and wooden bridges are probably not the most reliable ones this one actually is a bit too close there so whoop you do there you go much better this one doesn't need to have a road to the mountain but we rather just go with that there you go and i think over here we don't even have most of the roads paved yet as well at least the main roads should be paved by now perfect it's also looking much nicer So there you go we have finally now paved roads everywhere almost everywhere and i guess what we still need now is a yeah, way more gold milk of course with so many people coming in this is pretty important we have our wants of timber we have the, we are producing the gold milk here itself so minus two it is right now this must must be the utmost importance and by the way the tea is still fine so we're still having enough tea for all of these people I don't really need to do, change anything on that. And then it's really just the finery and the dried meat. Both of them will be deep red. No, they're actually not. This one, they're both still balanced. Perfect. So I don't really need to do that much over there. Then it's really just for my goatees. Then those guys we have here, right? And I already have a couple more up there that we already had in blueprint. Let's also upgrade our warehouse. And then I probably can add another one in this area there right and let's make this one a paved road so it does get there more quickly 
And then I would like to have another one most likely here. And one more here. This should really be enough gold milk for everyone. Let's upgrade the warehouse once more to tier 3. Lovely colors. And that should be all the milk in the world. And by the way, since we do have the influence available, I would like to have now a commute pier. We can finally do this um, in the in these um, areas. Let's move my cannon towers to the other side. Because they're blocking my way here for a proper commute pier so that we can finally share the workforce of Taborim with the rest of Enbeza. That would be over here. This one, of course, needs to be paved there as well. right -o. And then we can share it, for example, with Tatan up here. And don't forget, Tatan is an island that we've lost in the big war. Um, and we can now have, finally, also a commute be here. Another 15 influence, but we can afford that. Let's place it there. And Tatan has all the workforce now. And here we can really make some beautiful big productions now. And we should for the indigo and the spice, right? We lost both of them um, in the last war. So I will need to get these productions up and running again. For that, what we would need first is once again our river slot over there. And then we can actually start right away. I do not like this building menu here, the typing in Enbesa. I don't know why. There's not enough buildings to cover all the, the tabs here, right? So you have tabs like this one and this one that are almost empty. Um, so I'd rather go with my progress type that has the shepherds and the elders only. Um, and that just fits in much better. It's easier to find stuff here. Um, up there, we can actually go ahead and already make the whole row green. There comes the water. And it's always important to not close off any of these areas here because, of course, we need to spread the farms then over there as well. The only thing I probably will need here is the road for it that goes all the way up there, right? And then here we can have the farms connecting to that. And then I will definitely need to have a warehouse up in this area and probably one down in this area here for all these farms here that are going to be built now. So we do need indigo and spice, right? Let's just check this one real quick. Are we out of any of these? Because I think demand was not very high on them. Spice is empty now for sure. And indigo is also empty, all right? Right. And we do need them over here for, first of all, our... How is it called? The spiced flour that we need for the seafood stew. The seafood stew is pretty important, of course, for our elders. And we don't have that yet. And this one, where do we actually produce it? That should be here somewhere in the area. There it is. Spice. Yeah. So spice would be my first target that I have in this area. And by the way, do we still have some warships? Ah, uh, only one. I will probably need to back it up there a bit. Even though Bento, of course, has nothing to say anymore. I don't think she, she will have any power. So we can safely ignore her for now. And then we have our spice production. Now I need to check real quick though. We do have two Tef mills in Tabrim at the moment. The and that would lead to four control. spice farms that we need. So I could have one here. That is then taking the whole lower area here. And as we can see, it doesn't really need a lot of fields. right? And then we have a second one just here. That takes then the farm um, all the way up there. Perfect. And then we can also have one on that side. Very nice. And one on that side. Oh, and then I'm actually running out of once a timber. That I will need. An explosion. In one of your Let's get our timber from Tabrim there once more, but the first spices are already being produced. And then we can just use our old trade route again. Is it still intact? There it is. Yep. As we can see, that was the old trade route. We lost both the clippers there from Tabrim. And it goes from Tatan, of course, where we do load these uh, goods here. So I will need to, once again, assign them. And then also the spice where it's already coming in. And we do have two cargo ships available now, and I'm going to assign one then soon once I'm done with the building materials transportation to that area. How's it looking with my people here? Yes, perfect. We can also upgrade now more people in Tabrim. I would like to do this to elders, right? So there we got a few of them. It's only costing me once a timber, perfect. I do want to get that population up a bit more. And then on the other side of the river there too. So here in the center, at least, that we have these guys.
as Taborim is growing, so is my income. <laughs> we need the money. Stay tuned. <laughs>